All right, let's continue on the subject. And Gary Tabak is uh, the uh, former chief of staff of the uh, NATO military liaison mission in Moscow, and he served here in Turkey between 2008, between 2006, excuse me, and 2008. He joins us now live from Philadelphia. Welcome to the programme. Um, I just want to get your take on how concerning even uh, the level of danger that this decision is um, for, President Mo to, for President Putin then to... Uh, to uh, reportedly move uh, such warheads outside Russia the first time since the fall of the Soviet Union. Uh, hi, thank you for inviting me. Uh, always glad to be back in Turkey. Uh, I think that uh, there is no longer a question of the danger of what uh, President Putin does or the head of the terrorist organization that Putin heads. Uh, that is, uh, I think, should have been clear to everyone for, for, for a long time already. It is the danger is how we, the West, reacts to it again. Are we going to again, like smack them with some sanctions and try to figure out who is at fault and everything? I think those discussions should be over at this time because this has been a colossal, colossal uh, damage uh, to the world, to the whole, not just Ukrainians. And it is important to know how are we going to react? Are we going to continue to pacify him? to tell them that this is, you know, we're going to come to some kind of common ground or some sort of an agreement. <clears throat> I think this this should stop at this point. Mm -hmm. I think at this point, Kamal Ataturk would take uh, uh, certain actions, hard actions, and show that he cannot blackmail us with the nuclear weapons in uh, Belarus. Belarusian people should know that if there is going to be nuclear weapons on their ground, they should expect a hit. So if we're going to ignore... The, uh, what happened, what just happened, or try to somehow uh, make it less important or, or less disastrous, we should expect, we should expect a bigger, a bigger uh, act, uh, incident uh, that will come from Russia. Okay. I okay. Can, I, can, I, can I just it. stop you there, Gary? You're, you're making very uh, big statements that uh, cause would be very worrying. Just first of all, how do you, how do you think the West should? should react to this? How do you think NATO should react to this? I think that NATO should give all the weapons immediately to Ukraine that is required by Ukraine. It should give uh, air support. It should close the skies above Ukraine. Anything that will fly above Ukraine is going to be hit. All this discussion should be stopped whether who blew up the dam, that it, on the Polish territory, it was a Ukrainian uh, missile that killed two people while it was trying to shoot down the Russian missile. None of that was happening until the Russians uh, started a war with the Ukraine. None of it. So all of it is, is a Russian responsibility. All of those disasters, all of this genocide is going on with the Russians. Your previous uh, a journalist <clears throat> said that uh, Putin is using it, saying none of that would have happened if there would have been no coup d'etat in 2014 in uh, Ukraine. Well, the, the people who created the coup d'etat, according to him, <clears throat> are already gone. It is a new president, freely elected, uh, democratically elected, President Zelensky. So why is he starting a war with him? Because the same reason should be that there was a coup d'etat in 1993. Okay. I was in Moscow when Yeltsin took over the parliament and bombarded the parliament. And there was a coup d'etat then. We can say, so now China should be allowed to start a war with Russia. Because now they're, you know, but the Yeltsin is no longer there. It's pre different president, different times. Okay. All those excuses, mm -hmm. I think, should be stopped and should be, it should be ignored. It's not even should be considered. Gary, great to get your perspective. Thank you very much indeed for uh, speaking to us today at uh, TRT World. Gary Tabach, uh, former Thank Chief you. of Staff of the NATO military mission in Moscow. Thank you.